Hi everyone, this is Dr. Lindira Hobdari. Welcome to our Life Tips series, Food is the Solution, Not the Enemy. So everyone is talking about inflammation and rightfully so, because inflammation is the core functionality of the immune system and foods that we eat may make it or break it. So when we consume foods that are more like a toxin to our body and less like food, we produce inflammation. But what is inflammation? Inflammation is the body's immune response system to any invaders, toxins, traumas, infection. Inflammation sends white blood cell signals to the immune system via cytokines to let it know it's time to heal and repair. When inflammation builds up, then we perceive it as joint aches, muscle aches, abdominal pain, bloating, infections, insomnia. It's time to call the doctor. So let's just find tips to help us reduce the inflammation and live a healthy lifestyle. So there are foods that we can help to reduce the inflammation and we're going to bring every time a healthy anti-inflammatory choice as well as an inflammatory choice to avoid. What is an anti-inflammatory? Let's start with fiber. Fiber is a very important nutrition in our system. We need to have 25 to 30 grams of fibers per day. American diet only satisfies 15 grams of fiber. And fiber is loaded with antioxidants that will neutralize the inflammation, as well as vitamins, very important for the skin, and minerals, very important for our bones. So fiber is divided in soluble and insoluble. So soluble fiber is so important for all my diarrhea patients. So we're going to have a soluble fiber that will draw in all the water and it will slow down the transit. This fiber will reduce the weight, so weight loss going on. It will lower the sugar and it will lower the cholesterol. And what are these solutions? What are these choices? So we have as far as fruit, all the citrus fruit, apple, banana, pears, all the strawberries, blueberries, very important. Let's call in some legumes. So we're gonna have oats, beans, peas, and then comes in vegetables. So lots of vegetables will help us reduce that transit. So we have turnip, sweet potatoes, carrots, barley, avocados. And let's go into the insoluble fiber. Insoluble fiber will make the bulk very um, thick. And so this way we can increase the transit. So all the constipation patients are going to love this soluble fiber, insoluble fiber. So let's just call in what's in the insoluble fiber. So as far as fruits, we're going to have strawberries, blueberries, bananas, um, kiwi, um, raisins and grapes. As far as seeds, we're going to have flaxseed, chia seed, whole, whole grain seed, brown, um, brown rice, bran, and cereals. And then as far as vegetables, let's just start with green beans, bell peppers, eggplants, kale, bok choy, celery, um, cauliflower, zucchini, spinach, lettuce, Brussels sprouts, so these are all the inflammatory, the anti-inflammatory fibers that are going to make us feel so great. Again, it will just improve the weight loss and then it will reduce the hemorrhoids and the uh, lower the cancer rate. So the, end, the inflammatory choice that we want to avoid, all the refined sugars, all the treats, all the sweets, cakes, baked goods, donuts, we need to have zero of those. They have no values in our diet and they release the cytokines. So all the cytokines are gonna make us have all the inflammatory aches and pains. So let's keep those out of our diet until our next life series.